What a great pleasure it is to welcome Lee Sais, who is the lead cloud solutions architect, cloud service providers for Sub-Saharan Africa at VMware. And uh, Lee and I have had many, many chats over the last few years on, on where it's all going. And if there is anybody that's, uh, that knows his stuff and knows where cloud architecture is going, it's none other than Lee Sais. Lee, it's really good to see you again. How have you been, firstly? I've been excellent. Thank you very much, Aki, and really good to chat to you again. Yeah, listen, it's great to chat to you and always great to hear your insights into where it's all going because uh, it's really moving at breakneck speeds. Um, why, why has VMware decided to be a gold sponsor at the uh, Cloud and Security Conference this year uh, for my broadband? So firstly, it's a privilege to actually have sponsored the, the Cloud and Security Conference this year. It's not the first time we've sponsored this event and I think in the past we've really had a great experience and exposure doing so. Um, one of the things VMware has evolved quite a lot when it comes to what we can do and contribute to the cloud market, specifically in our strategy around um, multi-cloud. And we feel that this is one of the forums that would be brilliant to actually expose what we're doing, show our contributions and educate the market on how we could support in these challenges that, that people experience around cloud. Yeah, absolutely, Lee. And you know, uh, you know, you've been spot on in my introduction. I said, you know, I've gone back a long way. And uh, every time you've said stuff that's that's going to happen, and where the cloud is transitioning to, the multi cloud in particular, and especially with the world at the moment, and and how COVID impacted all of us organisations, certainly moving towards that multi cloud environment. And it's great to have uh, someone of your caliber at the conference sharing your insights and where it's all going forward to. Um, but the last three years have been most interesting. What are you personally most looking forward to at this particular conference? So first of all, face-to-face -face engagements. I think personally myself, I've tried to make a conscious decision around actually interacting with people a lot more face-to-face. -face. I think the virtual era of things has, has run its course. Um, we're finding so much more value in actually not only just having conferences face-to-face, -face, but customer meeting face-to-face, -face, workshops face-to-face, uh, there's so much more value that we're experiencing out of a shorter meeting face-to-face -face as, as opposed to something longer virtually. So that's the one thing that I am looking forward to. Um, there's quite a few people in the network that I've seen long last, and I think these forums are a great way of bringing everybody together, sharing experiences we have in the market, not only with the vendor network, but customers themselves as well. Customers are tired of having online conferences, so it's really, really keen on, on that face-to-face -face interaction uh, with our customers, partners, and additional vendors as well. Oh, that's awesome, Lee. Um, and obviously, uh, this is an ever-evolving world that we're living in. And I mean, even an organization like VMware is, is you know, is moving in, 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 a, in a direction and adapting as we go along as to what the business demands are. Could you unpack for our viewers what you will be presenting about at the Cloud and Security Conference this year? So two main points that I want to I want to get across this year, Aki. The first one is the relevance of, of local cloud providers in the South African market. I think not only in the South African market, but in the sub-Saharan African context as well. And the second thing really is to ex speak about the, the contributions we have when it comes to solving multi-cloud challenges. And not only having um, a dream about certain things that we can do, but what can we do in reality today to actually assist our customers? So two things that I'll get across is local cloud providers and the sovereign nature that it comes with and what we can contribute to the multi-cloud managed services and multi-cloud context as well. Very interesting. Well, I mean, Lee, what motivated you to choose these particular topics uh, uh, in particular? And, and why is it relevant to this particular current market at the moment? I think a lot of organizations have matured in the way they've adopted cloud. I think moving from a destination rather to a strategy has become a reality. And if the time is right, the time is now um, in order for us to actually support these customers through these journeys. A lot of the technology that we have is not new technology, Aki. I think one of the things we did do is we, we developed advanced technology, perhaps early in the phases or the maturity of our market. And if we look at where the market is now, it's really important for us to contribute and support organizations in making their journeys a lot simpler and actually supporting them in reaching their, their goals. So that really, I think the time is right to speak about the, 
the level of technology and the level of support we can provide to the market. Now, Lee, uh, uh, one topic that comes up over and over, and it's something that you really focus on and you're very passionate about, and it's the challenges that we, we face, especially when it comes to the, the, the cloud infrastructure in the world that we're playing in at the moment that we're talking about, is the skills shortage in South Africa. And it's actually not only just in South Africa. This is a global problem. Um, wh why do you believe it is still such a major threat to the South African digital economy? I mean, I, I want to know what your thoughts on that are. And are we actually making headway with, with narrowing that skills gap? So this is probably a topic that's quite close to my heart. Um, and one of the reasons is because of my background, I come from an educational background where I used to lecture and actually teach corporates and, and uh, career type students. So it's something that's quite close to me and that I, I speak quite often about. But one of the things that I think we need to evolve in is the way we look for certain skill. And I don't think that we, we're moving quick enough in that regard. Many organizations are looking for skill that's readily built in order to achieve what they need as an outcome from that individual. And at the end of the day, the way technology is evolving, you're not going to just buy the skill off the street. Mm. The other mm. aspect is that if we do have individuals that have skilled up in order to be adequate for those positions, we're seeing that they're being sucked in by either moving out of the country to other organizations, vendors are actually employing these individuals, because the skills shortage is becoming um, a lot more aggressive, we're seeing that the price of skill is also starting to increase. For me personally, in the network that I manage around the cloud service providers in sub-Saharan Africa, it's really difficult to find new skill into that network of partners. So what I'm seeing constantly happen is that skill is moving between partners. So it's kind of cutting off my one hand to feed the other. I'm not seeing new skill being introduced into that market. So I think as an economy in South Africa, we really need to work together to try and breed new skill. We've got a lot of young um, individuals who's actually graduating and has the fundamentals in order to be bred or, or enabled into these positions. So it, I, I really think we need to look at it in a different way. Um, and there's a couple of ideas I have. I think there's many uh, people in the, the industry that have different ideas. It's really about bringing these ideas together to contribute towards the skill shortage. Um, in our market. Wow. Well, listen, if that's not enough to whet your appetite, uh, you've got to be at the Cloud and Security Conference. Uh, click on the link below for more details, and we really hope to see you there. And, uh, of course, uh, Lee Sais, who is the lead cloud solutions architect, cloud service providers for Sub-Saharan Africa at VMware, is also going to unpack those solutions that VMware offers uh, specifically for your organization and what they can do. A man who's very passionate about cloud infrastructure and uh, where the direction is going and unpacking all the trends and where it's going to be going to in the next few years. Uh, Lee Sice, it's always good to chat to you, and I look really forward to hearing your presentation at the Cloud and Security Conference that's coming up and, uh, and unpacking all those solutions that VMware has to offer. Thank you for being on board, and we look forward to seeing you at the conference. Thank you very much, Aki, and to our viewers, looking forward to seeing you there as well.